Hey everyone, uh, today in this episode I'm going to talk about um, what I'm going to call a bonus habit. Uh, so in the 30 Days of Discipline program, there's 12 habits. If uh, you're listening on the podcast, maybe you found me on the blog, or even on YouTube, um, the way I set up everything was you followed through all the first 12 habits if you decided to listen in, in that exact order. And then now what I'm doing is I've decided to add on two additional disciplinary challenges for myself. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about in this video is um, not playing video games uh, during the entire 30-day challenge. Um, this is probably one of, if not one, I would definitely say it's one of the hardest challenges for me personally. Uh, I guess to give a little background on myself, um, I know you know I'm actually going to check out. I wrote this statistic in a post I made that's on the blog. Um, there's a an application um, called Steam that you can use online to uh, pretty much play all your games. It's like a big um, library where you can digitally download games and play them. Um, if you play video games at all, you sh you know, especially in the PC, you should be familiar with this platform. It's been around for years. It's really popular. Um, I use a, a free website that's called Steam Gauge, and I actually put in my profile. And since I signed up to Steam about 11 years ago, they basically looked at all the hours I've spent playing games, and this is just on Steam. This doesn't include, like, beyond that, like, you know, years ago when I was playing Final Fantasy III or something on Super Nintendo. Um, I've spent 2,631 hours, which includes 296 items, and apparently the value of my games is almost nearing the $4,000 mark. And they also told me that it's 1,749 gigs, which is actually pretty ridiculous, that amount of games. Um, so, yeah, I have a game library worth four grand, and I've played nearly almost 3,000 hours of video games um, in the last 11 years. Um, I'm sure there's people out there who've done way more, but I've definitely played a lot. I mean, I used to play games like EverQuest um, back in the 1999. I started playing that, and I used to spend so much time playing games that my father actually came in one night well, let me back up in EverQuest th this is an MMO game so if you've heard of World of Warcraft you'll know what uh, you know it's pretty much the same type of game uh, EverQuest is still going as of today by the way and um, they've been around a lot longer but back in the day um, the game used to be so difficult and was so as people would state to hardcore you would actually if you died in the game, you, your corpse would fall right then and there, and you would respawn somewhere, and you'd have to go back to your corpse. Now, there was a night I specifically remember. I went into this big dungeon with a bunch of people, and, you know, this was like the third expansion of the game. It was, I probably was, I couldn't have been older than, I'd have to look at the year range, but I couldn't have been older than like 16 or 17 at the time. And maybe I was 18, I forget. I was in high school, and... I ended up dying in the game, and I ended up actually needing to wait for all these other people to help me get back to my corpse, because it was like this big group thing, like I couldn't just run in there by myself, I would die again, and every time you die, you lose experience, the experience you lose would sometimes be maybe two to three hours worth of work. Now, someone could, other people in the game could resurrect you, and you would gain back like 90 something, like it was like 92% of your experience. So it was like I was waiting for this resurrection, and I remember it was like 2 a.m., and my dad came in, and he's like, you got to go to school in the morning. And I said, well, Dad, i got to get my corpse. And I literally just ended up waiting around. Um, I was so addicted to the game that I had to wait for all these people to get my corpse back. Now, at the time, you know, this is like so many hours and days and days invested into this character, and I'm in this big guild with people. We're doing all these really high-end encounters, and everything's so difficult um, you know it was like it was almost like you were living a second life it was literally that crazy that there was you could get that addicted to it I mean if you look up news stories there's people that have like committed suicide over this game and I remember being that immersed in the game that I, I, I could actually see that if I had made any major losses like if something happened where I lost um, all my stuff on my guy like I, I probably would have fallen into some like deep dark depression um, I don't know what I would have done. And I, 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 it was almost like I could sort of see how these people were feeling because it, it, it's, it was crazy that to, um, 
to know how much I was addicted to it. Um, so to be involved in it that much. Um, I even remember another incident where I decided to randomly play on a Sunday, which happened to be Easter, when um, Easter was the only holiday my family would actually have everybody come over to our house. On every other holiday, like Christmas, um, I w we would end up at other people's houses, like relatives' houses and things for um, holidays. So this particular Easter, all these people came over, and I decided to go and do another one of those big, like, raids in the morning. And I went in with, like, you know, whatever it was, like 30, 40 people. But this time I went in with a group of unorganized, totally random people. Um, ended up dying in another area where I can't just go in there by myself and retrieve everything on my own. So I, uh, I pretty much had to wait and rely on this group of totally unorganized, uh, like, people who just don't know what they're doing. Like, they're not, they've never worked together before. Um, it was kind of like throwing a company together that has never worked on anything together. It was really bad. So I ended up sitting upstairs all throughout Easter while my family was downstairs just playing this game. And I was just so brutally addicted to it. It was terrible. Um, you know, my family, I could tell, was upset. My cousin Brian, he's a little older. I remember him saying something like, you know, he came up and he was like, you're going to come down and say hi to everybody? And it was like bad that he had to do it. You know, it wasn't even my father doing it. And I think even my father might have come up and said something similar at some point and I was being just so rude to everybody, just sitting up in my room all of Easter. So I, um, I guess to bring this back down to my level, I'm, I, I still play games quite often, but I've backed off from playing a lot of games like MMOs, like World of Warcraft, where you get so immersed, you're that buried in it. Um, I'll really, at this point, I'll sort of occasionally jump in and just play something for a couple hours and then stop. I, I can't really get into it like I used to. Um, ever since I started blogging and doing a lot of this internet marketing stuff, I've gotten a lot more interested in utilizing my free time to try to make some extra money and um, learn things and just learn skills and trades and all kinds of different things that are um, helping me sort of um, advance myself and not just sit around wasting time. I, uh, I also generally have always liked to have friends come over because it can be social and we'll play games together. So. I've actually, right now, I've got, um, I have four computers in this room. Um, you can't really see it, but the, the, there's a desk here that's very large. I have more than enough room for two people, and then I've got another folding desk that's smaller with a printer on it and two more computers, and they're all, like, really high-end. I mean, these could all play the latest and greatest games. Um, I've got office chairs all around the room. I could basically have people... Um, I could have three guys come over right now. They wouldn't even need to bring anything, and we could all play games together. Now, um, I've gotten really accustomed to the to doing this. Like for years, I used to when I lived with my parents. I had a similar setup in my bedroom. I had I had all four computers in my bed. There was no other. There was no room for anything else. So I've always been a serious gamer. But um, really, ever since I started doing this blogging and internet marketing stuff, and um, getting interested in um, just general. Uh, learning about different things that I can do something bigger. I've, I've become more interested in that. Now, I guess at this point, now that I, I moved into my own home and I, I have a, th I have a three bedroom. So I was able to set up one of the rooms, which happens to be this one as a, um, as an office. Um, one of the friends who recently used to come over a lot, he just had a, his first baby. So he's like super busy, you know, and it's like, we all get older, things change. So, Really what will happen now is he might come over every once in a blue moon. Like, he came over for the first time in months since having his kid because he's been so busy. And we got to, like, spend, I think it was Monday. We had a holiday a few couple weeks ago at the time I'm recording this. And uh, him and another friend, we've all known each other for over 10 years, we were all able to hang out in, in, my room, in this room here and basically just chill out and play video games all day long. Um, I honestly don't think there's anything wrong with keeping it in moderation and every once in a while you know if I if I don't um, get carried away sometimes I feel bad for my girlfriend because she doesn't want to participate so she might if she doesn't have anything to do then you know she's like sitting around all night you know just downstairs watching tv shows or something and a lot of times she won't mind having time to herself but I think overall um for me I felt like if I added this in to my regimen of doing everything else I'm already being disciplined about then it would really kind of show my true colors of what I can do and it would also allow me to get a lot more done with this e-commerce business I'm trying to start up. Um, I've done it before, 
And I probably did it for a similar amount of time. I'd say about 20 to 25 days, maybe 30 days. I forget what it was, but I told my friends a couple years ago the same thing. I said, I want to take a break and um, just stop playing games for a little while and be productive for a month. And they couldn't really believe it at first, but uh, I think it helped me quite a bit, and it's helped me sort of back off and understand that, you know, I don't have to be playing all the time or, like, that doesn't have to be the thing that I'm doing in my free time all the time. So I think, um, you know, if you're doing this challenge, you know, you don't you don't have to do this. Um, it, you know, many men who, guys my age, you know, in their 20s, they probably play video games, whatever it is, Xbox, um, PC, PlayStation, whatever you play. Um, you know, maybe, maybe decide to take a break from it, maybe not. I guess it all depends on how much time you're spending on it. And if you think you can work on your goals and get things done and still follow this challenge, then by all means. I guess for me, I've decided to, like I said, I've decided to back off a bit because I think it will, it's definitely already helping me get more done and allowing me to be more productive during, during my nights. Instead of coming home, playing games all night for three hours, I'm coming home and I'm doing dishes and actually like getting food prepared or doing other things that, you know, a lot of it kind of leads to like laziness. Like I know right now if I had my friends over and lunchtime came around, I'm not going to go downstairs and start cooking chicken for like a half hour or whatever it takes and washing dishes and doing all these things because I'd rather be up here playing games. So what will end up happening is I'll order a pizza and then I'm eating basically um, junk food um, just because I've like sacrificed my my time to be productive by just playing games. I'd rather like I end up rather playing the games and getting something like really fast that I don't have to spend time on. Um, so it all becomes like kind of a vicious circle, I guess you could say. So I think by taking a break, it's going to allow me to just do everything better for this this moment of time. Um, I don't foresee myself quitting games like in the future. You know, when this challenge is over, I think I'll go back to like keeping it in moderation. But it's always like I said, keeping it in moderation. Talk to you later.